back to my channel so today i'm bringing you guys a wig video um i know you guys are like dang ticket you are putting out these wig reviews but i have quite a few that i need to get out to you guys so um yeah i'm really behind even on this one so this one here is gls 29 and i got her from friday night hair she was sent to me like a month ago and i'm just now getting around to doing the review so i do apologize for that but I'm really excited to show you guys her. This is like some bombshell, sexy, curly hair. I absolutely love this hair. Now, when she did come in the package, um, well, actually, let me just show you guys the little thing. Normal packaging, like I said. She came with a card on her. No picture, as usual, because this is their standard um, picture for Friday Night Hair. It is, again, GLS 29, and she is in a color number two. I chose a color number two because the other wig that I reviewed for you guys um, that I bought off of eBay was in a color 1B, I think. And I wanted to see what their twos look like because most of their wigs do come in, like, a 1 and a 1B, which is very dark. For two, I feel like this is still dark, but it's, it's not, like, as dark as the 1 and 1B. It's still pretty dark, but I can see that it, it, should, it could be a little bit lighter for a brown, but it is still a nice brown. I really do like this. Um... And, you know, when you go into spring and summer, you guys want to try to change up from doing all the black hair to, like, a brown or, you know, your ombre styles or whatever. Um, anyway, she did come with a few pieces of tape, okay? And she came in the regular standard little uh, baggie, and she had a netting on her, and she was stuffed really nice. So, um, yeah, their packaging for their wigs are always really, really nice. I like the fact that they store them in this, so that way when you take your wig off, you can either store it on a mannequin head or you can put it back in the packaging so that is awesome as well um what can I say about this hair I did try to film a get ready with me yesterday and I saw a video on that and it came out completely wrong so I will tell you guys what I did I did cut the front after I styled it onto the side to give myself a part I did use just like my studio fix powder to kind of tweak the parting to make it look more realistic this hair has about two and a half three inches of parting now this is the side but in the middle the lace goes like all the way to like right here to the front right here so you get a good amount of parting on this unit and I really like that I did cut a little bit on the side to kind of frame my face because it was all kind of almost one length now there is a little bit of a layer in here but it's not a whole lot I do feel like this hair is just very sexy for a night out it is very bombshellish and I love these curls very very sexy um, the other thing that I did do is I did brush her out and I won't brush her out again but I brushed her out just to get the curls out of her because even with finger combing her I didn't want the curls to be so uniformed and they still kind of look like that so of course I just used a regular like little paddle brush to brush out the curls and of course I started at the bottom and then worked my way up and yeah the curls just came out really really nice again with cutting be careful when you cut your wigs um because this unit is i think fifty dollars i think it's like 49.99 um so you don't want to like ruin your hair but when you're cutting you know start out lower in your layers so if you do have to cut a little bit more to frame your face you won't cut too much um and always cut like in a diagonal kind of way and i did cut both sides and like i said here you can see like one of my little layers here um this hair is just absolutely gorgeous i had wore her a couple times maybe once or twice before i sat down to do cut her because i wanted to just see how she held up and for her being really long she's about maybe 24 to 26 inches and i will show you guys if you guys can see she's pretty long okay and the curl pattern in her is just gorgeous like i said i can't it's like a I want to say like a loose, maybe like loose body wave, but it's not even wavy. It's just more like long, spirally, loose curls, and I like that. It's very, very sexy, like I said. So I definitely love this wig. I can't say enough about it. I love the fact that you get so much parting with um, Friday Night Hair units. I swear, I haven't had a unit from Friday Night Hair that I have not liked or been able to tweak. Now, I do have one con with this wig, but the con is so small that it was easy to fix. The only con that I had was when I first took her out of the pack, she was very, very, like, 
wispy and like stringy kind of like in the front and i was like what in the heck is going on but all i did was spray a little bit of wig control on her yeah, and yeah. it's just kind of more defined and it helped kind of keep the hair and i just sprayed it around in the front and on the top to kind of give the hair um some manageability basically if that's a word okay <laughs> but um i just want it to be manageable for me so it wouldn't be like flying everywhere all up in my lip gloss all up in my eyeballs tangled up in my lashes okay ain't nobody got time for that so i just went ahead and sprayed her a little bit i didn't overdo it and even though i did brush her yesterday i've been just really finger combing her i really feel like that is the best option but if you're gonna brush her out just brush her out like once one good time and then the rest of the time you can finger comb her i haven't had any shedding i haven't had a whole lot of tangling even though this hair is long so i can really say like with friday night hairs the longevity of the hair is usually always good i can usually get if i'm wearing this wig like every day straight i'm gonna leave get a month and a half out of the wearing maybe two months and that's like if you're wearing her every day so for me that's a good thing if you're wearing her every now and again she's gonna last you a whole lot longer and I've got, of course you guys know I have a big white selection so tomorrow I'm gonna be Jill Ellis 29 or Sexy Bombshell Curls or tomorrow I'm gonna be Holly Berry or tomorrow I'm gonna be Janet or tomorrow I'm gonna be Sheila I don't know who I'm gonna be y'all know I'm somebody different every day um so I can be about 20 people in 15 minutes okay <laughs> So yeah, I really, really freaking love this wig and that's pretty much all I can say to you guys. But I do want to give you guys some, a little bit of an update. I'm going out of town tomorrow. I'm going to spend time with my mom and we're going back to Disney. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're going back to Disney. And so I won't be back until like Monday or Tuesday of next week. So I won't have a new video up for you guys until then. So um, yeah just if you have any comments questions leave them down below i will try to answer you guys as quick as possible or as much as i can in between the time that i'm gone because i will have my laptop and computer because after disney i'll just be chilling at my mom's crib so i will hit you guys up then um yeah so tell me what you guys think about this luscious curly hair and don't forget to thumbs up this video don't forget to follow me on instagram and like i always say gems it's not about how much it costs it's how you apply it so keep doing your thing and stay beautylicious. Mwah. Bye guys.